I have swapped lives with Dana White for 24 hours and I am in charge of the next UFC card in the UAE at the Etihad Arena. So for the first fight, the main card that we are creating, we are going to do the B. MF champion of the world Max Holloway and we are pairing him up with Alexander Volkanovski so there's that first fight made now moving on to the second fight of the night we are going all the the way down to bantamweight and we are doing Aljamain Sterling versus Corey Sandhagen that's the second fight moving on the more interesting stuff in the third fight which is our first championship fight of the night excluding the fight one but BMF championships not really like a natural UFC championship in my eyes okay so the third fight we are doing a championship fight and we are going back down to bantamweight and we are doing Sugar, Sean O'Malley v Mirab Yep, Mirab Alright, that's the third fight We've got two bantamweight fights and a featherweight fight at the moment Now we have the core main event which is going to be of course another championship fight going to the light heavyweight division we are going to have Israel Adesanya versus all time rival Alex Portan Herrera time for the main event of the evening we have obviously another championship fight in a long awaited heavyweight bout we have the heavyweight interim champion of the world Tom Aspinall versus John Jones Let's see who can become the undisputed unified champion of the UFC in the heavyweight division. All right, here we are with all the fights getting ready to be started in the Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. And first off, we have Max Holloway, the BMF champion, v Alexander Volkanovsky.
So one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to them. No healing out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, Volkanovski is bleeding from the mouth now. He cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Well, not much of a setup there. This is what they left him. Volkanovski gets the takedown. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, got to protect your neck. He can't take chokes. He's locked in. Submission defense wins this transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Making all these shots count. Holloway's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Volkanovski's able to transition back to side control now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a shot finds the target there. Great shot man. Now he's got to go find that follow-up position. The kill shot is what they call it. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. There it is. Now he's going to box. Well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. He continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. And as he continues to... Oh, Back to his feet. some things out defensively uh, this fight's gonna end. He's gotta move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to do. Well, as usual, Max Holloway punches and bunches, putting it all here together. I'm just not sure how much more volume his opponent can take. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish with you swing it right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Beautiful ground strike there. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. That was a nice strike. 20 seconds now to go. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. And still, the BMF champion of the world by a fantastic knockout. For your Superman punch, we have the winner of the first fight, who is Max Blessed Holloway. Alright, moving on to the second fight, we have Aljamain Sterling versus Corey Sandhagen. certainly seen him be more focused in these early round situations after what happened back in 2020 against Aljamain Sterling. Most people believe that Corey Sanhagen eventually is going to be on the throne with a belt around his waist. Tonight, though, is what he's got to have. Sterling going for the takedown. He misses. 
Algermin Sterling beats Corey Sandhagen in the second fight of the night by guillotine choke. You, you idiot. You honest. Here we go. For the court, court main event, we have the first championship fight of the night for the Bantamweight Championship, currently held by Sean O'Malley. We have Sean O'Malley for Marab. Well, Sean O'Malley has been a notorious fast starter in the UFC thus far. It is something his corner has prioritized once again here tonight. Let's see if O'Malley can lead the dance and dictate the pace here. Yes, these takedowns. That confidence came from the practice room. But once again, it's one thing to do it in practice opposed to doing it under the lights. This wrestler is next level. Oh, nice signal, yes. And now is where things could get really interesting. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. The bottom fighter better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knee. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your foot. How do you get out of harm's way? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. That was a slip transition. Wallace Willie's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, nice. There. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and show in that defense. Big double leg, double team. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. See if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Yeah.
Tries to mix in a takedown here. And there we have it. Sugar Sean O'Malley retains his bantamweight title by defeating Marab. The core main event is here. We have Israel Adesanya fighting for the light heavyweight championship against his all-time rival, Alex Huatan Pereira. Trot out a lot of guarantees. He has guaranteed the fan base that this middleweight matchup between former kickboxers, now mixed martial artists, Israel Asanya and Alex Pereira is going to be bananas. This is going to be bananas. The kickboxing fights were amazing. They were very competitive fights. Understand that Alex Pereira won both of those fights, but Izzy had his moments. But now Alex enters into Izzy's world, trying to do it once again. If he pulls this off, Johnny will be a feat that not many could have seen coming, and we haven't seen many times in the outfit. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know, you worry so much, DC, about the kicking game. Sometimes you forget about those hands on Israel Adesanya. Establishing the jab here. Changing the position. Oh, right into Mao. He's got to start going now. All right, so he just decided to get up here. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Just over three minutes to go now. Israel Adesanya has dethroned Alex Poetan Pereira and is your new light heavyweight champion of the world. And now for your main event of the evening, we have a heavyweight championship bout. We have the interim champion, Tom Aspinall be the actual champion of the heavyweight division looking to unify 
his championship, Johnny Bones Jones. Tom Aspinall has beat John Johnny Bones Jones by submission of the guillotine 
truck and is now the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Alright guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Turn the notifications on to be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you all next one. Peace.